And do you have a personal message for the producers that hosted the trip? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much. Uh, these trips are uh, they're important for education, they're important for people to, to feel and to see these things. Um, and there is nothing like wine travel in order to experience culture uh, and the dynamics of an area because these are most of the things that most people that travel to an area never get a chance to experience uh, at all. And we get a chance to experience very firsthand uh, and very real for two intense weeks. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It was absolutely amazing. I've learned so much and I cannot wait to be an ambassador of Australia in the United States. And what about the producers? What do you guys want to say to the producers that hosted the trip? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you Thank for you. an incredible, incredible trip and for such amazing hospitality and knowledge and time that they spent with us. Absolutely. Generosity. Ditto that. I mean, from the moment we stepped mm -hmm. on to the Qantas plane, not before, but the moment we stepped onto the Qantas plane, Everything was just hospitality from start to finish, and whether we were staying at you know the Hilton Adelaide or the Grand Hyatt in Melbourne, or we were staying at the Emu Inn in Heathcote, I mean, everything has been extremely hospitable and an adventure, and adventurous, and very informative and educational. And this is definitely, I think, a trip of a lifetime. Uh, some, none of us in our group had ever been here before. And it's definitely been probably one of the best experiences of my life with um, all the winemakers and the education and the hospitality of the Australian people in general. And to really give us an idea of what's happening in Australia past what's being imported and seeing the creativity and the um, personality of what really makes Australia uh, an Australian wine. That's not bubbling. Well, I mean, it's it's what she's saying is true, though. I mean, we can go from Shaw and Smith with their huge tanks and their pristine conditions right next to Craigley the very next day, who <laughs> doesn't even have restrooms for you to use. There are cobwebs all over his doors, and it's a totally different environment. But to, to go from that big production and that pristine condition and those huge fermentation tanks to somebody that's got sheep out in their yard that they're shearing when you walk up to or you know, they're, they're just, that's what they do for a living. It's it's night and day, but to taste their wine side by seen, side is amazing. We've seen producers from 600 cases to 450,000 cases. Yeah. And it's all been incredible. Every step of the way has been absolutely incredible. And this is the opportunity of a lifetime. And I think we're both just extremely grateful. Producer-wise, I, I really wish they would start something some of their, their smaller production, better product. I know it's more profitable for them to sell it here, to use it here, and that, that's completely understandable. But as a market, creating the perception of such a high quality product that some of these people make here is, is really fantastic. And showing it to us as, as the you know, forebearers of education towards the consumer is outstanding. But for us to be able to show it to the consumer it is what's gonna really help drive the, uh, the future of the Australian industry in that regard, I think. I'm really happy to have been here. Um, definitely it ha has given me a really solid opening out of more open outlook on Australian product, and especially in some of the areas that I wasn't so keen on previously, um, that I saw a lot of product, be it sometimes we don't get very much of it or any of it at all in the United States, but hopefully we would. For all the winemakers that took time to, to have us uh, with you, well, thank you very, very much. You've been an amazing experience. Thank you. Thank you so much for hospitality. Everyone I met in Australia involved in this program has just been over the top with, um, you know, tasting us through their wines, the knowledge they offer to us, the way they explain things, and just um, their kindness to us. And really uh, helped us provide a very good learning environment and uh, cultivation of knowledge that we can take with us to utilize in our industry. So, thank you. Do you have a personal message for all the producers in the industry that hosted us here? Oh, absolutely. They were so fantastically gracious with us um, and genuinely excited to answer questions and share with us what they've learned in the region. Um, sometimes varying answers on the same topic like Selwyn and Cork, but always, always interesting and insightful. Yeah, it was. Um, a unique opportunity. Having traveled to other wine regions and worked uh, closely with 
producers, this was just unlike anything else I've ever known. A personal message for the producers of wine. Do not deviate from what you're doing. Just listen to yourselves, you're doing a great job. I think they were um, incredibly generous of their time. Yeah, the hospitality of, of their was energy. Just so warm and genuine. And I mean, I've, I've been to some tremendous wineries in France, but nobody, nobody expected me on Mother's Day cooking breakfast for me like, yeah. like they did. And you know, having afternoon tea with them and yeah. showing, showing uh, us opening their, their homes to us. Yeah, yeah. Like the tasting we had this morning, I thought it was it was stunning. You know, this this surgeon that just brought us some coffee. We we uh, were sitting in, in his couches, and uh, I, I think they've been very very generous with their time, their energy, and they're proud people. They're proud of the, what they're doing, and they want to share. The broken wood, they put the grill together for us. Yeah, to make our yeah, 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 yeah. That's the message I would. Don't, don't change what you do because you're proud of it and it's, for that it was amazing. Yeah. And the regional pride too was pretty special. Exactly. Everyone was yeah. so, yeah. so proud of their wines and you know not only what they were doing but what their neighbors were doing and, and again that sense of community like everyone knows what everyone's up to and that was cool. Yeah, they're great people. That's one that's too big. I mean, that's yeah. um, how, how can you convey sincerity through a cliche but truly it's a, it's a trip of a lifetime and an opportunity that is impossible to say thank you for without it seeming just trite and so an extraordinary experience and, and I mean brother Glenn to put all those things on the table at once what an expense let alone the uh, the genuine giving nature of the experience it's it was one thing to be able to taste all those amazing wines that everybody all the producers brought, uh, brought out for us but <clears throat> the hospitality that we that we were shown here is just yeah. incredible. But that's something we can take back. That was actually huge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Literally opening up their homes to us and you know and pouring pouring wines for us that you know weren't ready yet. And yeah. they're, they're taking the chance on us being professionals to understand where that can go and, and yeah, putting yourself out there like that's a you know it's it's risky and we appreciate right. them. Yeah, doing that for us, and then letting us they let us behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, that was a, that's a true gift. Yeah, but the hospitality of this country is amazing. <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> yeah, and the wines. We will be taking a couple cards from that deck going home. Absolutely, we learned a lot. Wow, we got some great welcomes, man. We got beautiful welcomes everywhere from the Clarenvale to Margaret River. Uh, you know, everyone's been you know been so gracious and and kind. You know. Uh, I definitely want to thank them for the time that they gave us. You know, I would hope that you know maybe in future events that we'd be able to taste wines a little bit deeper into the cellar to get a better idea of, of what the region was doing 10 years or 15 years from before, so we can have a more complete, accurate picture versus the the, the current release wines that we have. Um, but I truly feel like you know that there there was nothing but uh, but uh, open arms and, and lots of really great uh, energy coming. Nothing but appreciation and um, keep it up. It's gonna, it's gonna come around, especially in that uh, mid-tier to, to final wine. Uh, people will get it as long as we, we we know how to sell it and we can experience these things. I'm, I'm a firm believer that that wine is about uh, telling a story. It's about um, it, it's about a show. And if you have that experience in knowing what quality things coming out of those different regions are and, and put it into context for the customer, uh, they're gonna get it sooner or later. We're gonna bring people back. Trip, trip is world class. I've been on, on a couple trips to uh, to different wine regions uh, overseas, and and this one was put together pretty well to maximize our time to uh, to get to the different regions. I mean, covering the entire continent was uh, was amazing. Uh, you know, a, a, a little free break here and there would be nice every once in a while. Um, you know, uh, maybe maybe less of. Uh, Less than a full day in Heathcote, or at least uh, if we do go to Heathcote in the summer. Um, but other than that, it, it was it was a very very near flawless execution, and, and uh, it, it's it's a great project uh, in, 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 in a great a great um, system and a great opportunity to get uh, to get American wine buyers into the market and uh, and check out the, the wine world of Australia. Uh, great great opportunity for us. Wine Australia has been uh, superior. Been fantastic. Well, you know, we had some a little snack food getting out of LA from Houston to Australia, and <clears throat> the, a representative for Wine, Wine Australia was on the phone with me in LA to facilitate the the, the travel to uh, to uh, to this country, and and ever since then they've been you know spot on, right? 
right on the money as far as getting us where we need to be. And yeah, you know, we could complain about some accommodations or the weather or whatever. But I think that One Australia has been um, has been uh, uh, just right on as far as, as getting us where we need to be and, and, and you know as far as the education and, and, uh, and exposure to all these these wine regions that uh, that we just don't even as wine professionals just don't know that much about and I think that's been that's been invaluable invaluable experience. And to any, any of the, the Australian suppliers, producers out there that could have access to this, it's uh, it's a worthwhile program to be involved in to uh, to, to get your word out to the uh, to the to the U.S. wine buying public. Because you want to be in the U.S. You want to be in the U.S.